Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. I want to remind you, it's Worshipful Wednesday. If you haven't done it yet, you're right at the middle of the week. You ought to throw up your hands and say, God, I surrender all and I give you all the glory, the honor and the praise because you're such an awesome God who supplies every last one of my needs. You know, on the mid point of the week, you and I need to say, God, I look at where you brought me from, but I'm so happy that I can see what's ahead of me. It is nothing but your grace, your love and your mercy filled with blessings and opportunities to do good. Today, I invite you to look with me into Mark's gospel, the eighth chapter, verses one through 10. We find here in this pericope how God does something so great. He displays himself through and by his son, Jesus the Christ. This becomes that lesson where we see Jesus feeds 4,000 people. Well, you know, there's a large crowd, just like always. People always follow Jesus. You know, people always ran where there's food. Have you ever noticed that it is amazing in all of what we do by way of ministry, how we always are looking for some place that we can eat? It's a place of fellowship. It's a place of getting to know everybody. You know, Jesus says something to us in this passage, how there was a large crowd of people who had been following them. And he says, I feel sorry for these people because they've been with us now for three days and they have nothing left to eat. I can't send them away hungry, but they will faint if they'll go along their way because it's such a long distance. So Jesus tells his disciples, I want you to do this. How much bread do you have? They say seven loaves. And Jesus tells them, bring me the bread. And notice what he does. He gives thanks. You know, it says seven loaves. That means completion. He gives thanks. He breaks it into pieces. He gives it to his disciples. He said, distribute it to them. And then they found that they had a few fish. Jesus blessed them as well. And he says, give it to everybody that's around him. And notice that they feed about 4,000 men, not counting the women and children. And everybody went home with something to eat. You know, that is so important for us to understand how Jesus looks at us and he has compassion. He knows that you and I need daily bread. He knows that our daily needs have to be met. And for that reason, he does it. He gives us resources, but we must always put the resources in his hands first for him to bless it so that it can be multiplied. I want to challenge you as I challenge myself. Let's give God what he needs. Let's put in his hand our resources. Let's remind ourselves that they are not our resources, but they are God's resources that he's loaned to us that we might do the work he's called us to do. You know, today, as we go about doing the things that God has called us to do, we must ask Jesus, Lord, I put this ministry in your hand. I put this moment of prayer in your hand. I ask that you multiply it, that it might be beneficial, not just to me, but to thousands of people. You know, sometimes you and I, we forget about the little deeds that we've done, how it will impact people in ways that we will never know. That's the reason why God allows us to do work and to do ministry that we can't see the results because if we do, we'll think we've done it. But little that we know, the ministry that we perform, the gifts that we share, the gifts that we use in ministry touches people's lives and that it reaches thousands, people that we don't even know don't even see and may never see again, but they'll pass it on to someone else. Today, I hope you and I can make available what we have that others might be blessed and we can tell everybody, look at what God has done. Well, always know that you're exceedingly and abundantly blessed and God has a great blessing in store for you. And I look forward to sharing with you again on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.